Well, consider how do you make a star? We have a gas cloud and it collapses, collapses right. to make a new object. Right. But if things continue to expand, then there's an interesting sequence of events. First, there are galaxies that have already used up all their gas. Okay. They have these elliptical shapes. We call them elliptical galaxies. Oh. They don't have any gas, but they have stars that will live a trillion years. Wow. After a trillion years, those stars start dimming out one by one. They're... That's the actual sound that a star makes <laughs> when it's... Yes, in the vacuum of in space. In the vacuum of space. <laughs> they will pluck out one by one trillions of years from now, because that's their life expectancy. Okay. okay. They're burning their fuel very efficiently, very oh, slowly and right. very efficiently. These are the, the, the dim red, red stars, stars, of which there are many right. in every galaxy. Right. All right. But there's no gas in the elliptical galaxies. There's no fresh generation to be made. In spiral galaxies such as ours, the Milky Way, mm -hmm. we have stars that will also live a trillion years. They'll pluck out at around the same time these other stars do, but we have residual gas. Right. So we're making stars today. Yes, stellar nurseries. Yes. Yep. Yes, the JWST. That's it. It's all up in that. Yeah. So that will only continue until there is no gas left. 